Hi guys, welcome to Sima's garden. So what I'm doing right now is just preparing the land. So preparing the garden beds by just digging up all the weeds and just taking out all the crap um, from last year. And just what I'll be doing is just weeding everything out, like all the old stuff that is just um, old material. I put them in these buckets and then I take them down to the fire pit. And so this is the second garden that I'm preparing around the tree, along with some art that I did in 2018. So that was two years ago. So yeah, so this is the second garden right here. I just been um, taking out all the um, crap, you know, all the uh, garden weeds and things there. You, as you can see, there's a bit of bark. I guess that came from this tree here. Um, and what I'm doing is just digging up the land. So some areas here are deeper than others. Like I can dig deeper. And I think it's because this tree right here is um, coming out like it's just rotting. So all the soil is composted and it's coming out. So it makes a really good soil. Um, so what I'll do is I'll keep on digging here and make some amazing um, areas to plant my garden. Right now it's just April. It smells like candy. Oh, it smells like candy, apparently. Morocco's my little helper. So I'm just digging right here, all the stuff here. I'm just gonna dig my garden up right here. Um, and Morocco's got the little digger. He's gonna, do you wanna help me out, Morocco? What the heck is this? Oh, that's a little, that one gets out the little weeds. So Morocco can start digging. See all the little weeds? You gotta get them out. Can you help me, Morocco? Die. Okay. Wood so, chip just hit my eye. Oh, wood chip just hit Morocco's eye. So, we're gonna die, pull die, this die. out. So, we gotta dig up all Why these do we need weeds. Gardening gloves? Why do we need gardening gloves? We have gardening gloves on to protect us, our hands, from sharp things that might be like like the thorns. Oh, yeah, we, oh, so, I found a snail. Oh, Morocco found a snail. Because sometimes when we are digging in the garden, we find sharp things oh, yeah, I've and we don't want to get glass. Yeah, sometimes there's like glass or sharp. Um, I found that glass. Like there was a raspberry bush and we were trimming it. You were trimming And I was, I had my fingers. Can you hear me? What does that mean? What can you hear, Morocco? Earlier there was some ducks and some geese, I should say. They're Canadian geese, right? So, no. we're just gonna be digging up the garden here. Let's watch Morocco dig for a while. There you go, then. Okay, so, let's see. Dig up all the garbage that we find. And a lot of it's just weeds from last oh, year. Sorry. Okay. And then what we'll do is, see there's some pretty good soil here, but we might get some fertilized soil to make the most of our vegetables. What kind of vegetables will we grow this year? Uh, I'm gonna go strawberry. Strawberry? Um, we already have some garlic from the next door neighbor. That's a good thing is you can borrow some seeds. Actually, no we don't. Do you have sunflower no, seeds? Don't. Yes, I got no. some from, from the next door neighbor. No, we don't. We don't? How do you know? I'll show you guys my garlic. No, we don't. Soon. We don't have any. We don't? Why? What happened to it? Yeah, so the next door neighbor, she left it for us. So we, we didn't get it directly from them. We got it, they just left it on our doorstep for us. So because we're supposed to be practicing social distancing, dis distancing, distancing. I can't even speak right now. Anyway, so what the best the thing to do this? is- I'm trying to break it. Right now we're just digging up the whole garden so that we can- I'm trying to break the crap in it. Oh, what is this? 
Raffle found something. Go find that again, Marco. It was like an old shell from a snail that used to live in this garden. No. And he just left his snail shell no. behind. No. A really. snail shell. No, look. Let's see. Here it is, Raffle. Can I see? Oh, wow. Oh, no. This one's not a shell. Go show them what it is, Marco. It looks like a shell. See? Ugh. Up close. Yeah, I think it looks like a shell from one end, but the other end looks, I think it's an old mushroom. Wow. What's that? That's a mushroom, Rocco, you found. Sometimes yeah, I the found mushrooms, it right here. Sometimes the wild mushrooms grow. No, I found it right here. Oh, Morocco found it growing on a log. It was just sitting on a log. Upside down. So this garden has some quite tough I can things hear to the dig fridge. up. It's not so, closed. It's quite a lot of work. Mom, the fridge is not closed. You I can, can hear, hear it from it. all the way down here? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know about that. Yeah, anyway. I heard so we're digging up the deep Well, not me. I'm just breaking this. Because we don't want this plant to grow anymore. It's a weed that grows all over this property like a vine. Can it's you not a, our property? Yeah, it's not a fun weed to dig up. So, if we prepare the ground before May 2-4, then we're going to be ready for planting season after May 2-4, right, Morocco? Come on, so, we need to go do something. Okay. Come on, Mom, we need to go do something. <laughs> okay, so, we need to go do something. Uh, it's going to be quick. What is it, Morocco? Yeah, so it's, so this is also a really good workout. Digging up all these weeds. It is, oh. It's a really tough thing. It, it it grows really deep. So the thing is, digging up these weeds, some people suggest just putting something over top of here and then just starting fresh with soil. Because look how these weeds, look how deep these roots are of this weed. It's just a difficult thing to do. I might follow that suggestion and just cave and cover this whole thing with a tarp or something and then put the put the um, soil on top. So anyway, we'll, we'll see what happens. But thanks for watching Sima's garden and Morocco's garden. And I hope you join me again. We're gonna um, continue with this process of digging up a garden and growing the garden all summer long. Right now it's just spring, so it's a good time to start. Thanks for watching guys and we'll talk we'll talk with you soon. We'll chat with you soon, I was gonna say. <laughs> oh, and my brother is helping me to build a box garden, so that will be interesting too. We'll show you how the box is built. Not really. Yes, yeah, so it's gonna be really cool to show like, share, comment. We're not and we're not actually gonna bring him over. And we'll we'll keep you in touch. We're we'll, not actually gonna bring him over. We'll touch base with you with what we're gonna grow next. Thanks for watching Sima's Garden. Oh, and make sure to like and subscribe. Oh, and um, grow. And tell us what other foods you want us to grow. Yes, please tell us and comment below with what you would like us to grow. We, so far we have garlic um, and we have a bunch of flower seeds, but we're gonna grow a bunch of vegetables this year, so please Tell us, comment below with what vegetables you would like to see us grow. Thanks so much for watching. So I rolled these logs over here to form the garden edge of the garden, see? And then the rocks were already here, placed here by another gardener um, Actually, before before me. So I got no, the logs. Before we got this house? Yeah, before we got this house. So that's an old rotted tree. That looks like a piece of cement, but it, it kind of was cool because you could probably grow something like in that space there. And then there's just a bunch of old rocks and things this here. Is not old. This has this to be dug up here, this area, and made fresh. But there used to be a raspberry, a wild raspberry, which I trimmed it because it was just poking out everywhere and just... And it, it was poking me. It constantly was poking us. So this is a bunch of... Um, firewood that we have that because when the trees they sometimes fall down here so um anyway and then this is a bunch of a pile of 
stuff we have to get rid of. And there's the swing. When you need to have a little swing and a rest. Oh, Morocco lost his shoe. Oh no. <laughs> and then this is an old log that used to, she used to be there. So we use this, these pieces of bark just to walk on because it gets quite muddy here. Um, but we're just getting this going. So those, those, those are the chairs that we sit on. But you know, it's early spring, so we're just still preparing. And this is the fire pit where, you know, you can have old stuff. So anyway, this is the beautiful water. And on that island there lives, oh, I gotta help Morocco with his shoe. On that island there lives some geese and they have their eggs there. Yeah, and we go kayaking, so that's the, that's the lay of the land. Thanks for watching, guys. So this pit right here, what, what's usually here, Morocco? Turtle eggs. So the snapping turtles lay eggs right in here. That's so, soon we'll have some snapping turtles come up and lay some eggs. We're just waiting for them to come up. And what else, Morocco, what else goes out there? Out there... We found last, was it two years ago? We found little pollywogs. Oh yeah, last year. Frogs, and then they were all hopping oh, up. Oh, what else for? And they were all hop, hop, hopping all the way, all around the grass. We no. saw them hop, hop, hopping all no. around. No. no. What happened? They were just swimming and I try, and I caught um, like three of them. Yeah, so, well yeah, we found, we caught a bunch of pollywogs with Nana, right? And I just threw them back in. Oh yeah. Yeah, so... We kept them for like one day. Yeah, we didn't want to keep them. We wanted them to be be happy where they were. Well, See, and the, these geese are always fighting about something. They're always like, get away from me. Why are they always fighting? Who knows? Okay, we got to pick up these, our shovels and put them away for another day. Guys, look at me. That's how I put mine. Bye. No, uh, come back here, mister, and put your shovel away. He's got to come back and put his shovel away. Because if he doesn't... Oh, there he goes, running away. That's it. Time out, mister. You don't get any treats. No ice cream for you. All right, guys. Well, we'll chat with you later. Yeah, so I find it very peaceful, this digging in the garden. It's one of my favorite things to do, to get some exercise, but also just for like meditation and peace. So I just like to dig out the garden, pull up all the weeds, and just like prepare the garden for the summertime, May to four planting season. Sometimes there's some like really thick rocks in here. Oh, and I found, oh, that's the mushroom from before that I found. There's some areas in here that won't dig very deep. There's like a, it's very rocky. So you just have to kind of feel out the area to see where you can dig and where you can't. And that's why I bring my little tools too, to just dig out the weeds. As you can see, there's some quite tough weeds in here, but you just gotta fight with them, fighting against Mother Nature. It's survival of the fittest, you know? Yeah, 
now. So I think some areas, really, the weeds seem to win. Anyway, so yeah, so you just keep on getting out all the tough weeds. Oh, that area is a pretty good area to dig. See, because it's close to the tree that was rotting and composting. It's an old tree stump. Well, I think that's enough digging for today. I think I'll take a little break and we'll come back tomorrow. I cleared out a lot of weeds today and did quite a lot of work and it's going to be nighttime. Time for a nice drink and we'll chat with you guys. We'll see you later. Make sure you comment below. Tell me how you think, what you think about my videos. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. Look. These are the tools I'm using. A pair of gloves, some sharper, smaller tools, and a big, huge shovel. Plus, I have a variety of rakes. I have a little collection bucket so I don't have to be always going up and down to the fire pit. I have a small bucket. I have a bucket, and I have some other rakes and tools. An old watering can some old pots that I just planters.